why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle choose to hold hands in public but Kate and William don't. They only recently went public with the relationship so it's hardly surprising that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want to show the world how happy they are. Indeed, the newly formed couple made no secret of their romance during their trip to Toronto, stepping out hand in hand on several occasions. And while the lovebirds are extremely tactile with each other, their public displays of affection are a far cry from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and there's a reason for the disparity between the two couples' body language. Indeed, according to body language expert Robin Cremode, Kate and William do not feel the need to prove their love, and they're even taking tips off the Queen. They're clearly madly in love and have their third child on the way but Robin notes that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge rarely hold hands in public and there's a very surprising reason why. Some public figures use hand-holding as a deliberate attack to prove that their relationship is solid, but this isn't something Prince William and Kate struggle with, he said. Robin explains that Kate and William, who married in 2011, are taking cues from the Queen. The Queen rarely holds hands with her husband in public and this seems to have set an unwritten precedent for the other royals, notes Robin. It is very clear that William and Kate are emotionally close, however, they do not seem to feel the need to prove their love particularly when on official state business. They come across as a strong, independent couple and while they are always on show, they do not feel the need to show their love for each other to the world. Prince Harry today made his first public appearance since returning from the Invictus Games in Toronto where he made his first official appearance with girlfriend Meghan Markle. The Royal 33 joined forces with the Defence Secretary today to tell soldiers that dealing with mental health is just as important as learning new combat skills. The former Army Captain and Sir Michael Fallon will make the case that mental fitness is as important as physical fitness when it comes fighting wars, adding that troops should be encouraged to use psychology in the same way as athletes do to maximise performance. Harry is launching a new partnership designed to improve the mental health of current and former armed forces personnel by rolling out support to veterans and those still serving across the three services. The Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry will provide advice and resources to the Ministry of Defence to improve training and education.